What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews. So today's video is kind of interesting because I'm not really sure what to do on this one. So I've had the Makita LXT, you know, 36 volt lawnmower now for almost two years. I absolutely love it as a fantastic job, but it does have some weaknesses, especially when you're taking it through some thicker grass. Um, I did a job, if you want to check out the photos here, um, recently where I was going, going through some really heavy grass and I do a lot of, you know, like one time cuts for some of my clients that have, you know, just a really overgrown backyard or maybe just a side yard or even just part of their yard that is just super overgrown. And I'll push this thing right through it. It does a fantastic job, but you know, it could be more powerful. And its biggest weakness is gonna be, of course, runtime and even going through wet grass, it does struggle a bit there. So I was considering, you know, going to the new XGT mower, but I've got kind of one problem doing that. And before we jump into that, let's, let's see today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Hardell. They're well known for making a lot of rotary tools and woodworking tools. I've actually got one of their digital calipers right here I did a review on not too long ago. It's actually my favorite caliper now. I'll leave a link in the description to their website and a couple of their tools. They're primarily sold on Amazon if you want to check them out there as well. Uh, but overall, I think their tools have been fantastic. I definitely recommend them, guys. So let's jump back into the video. All right, so that one problem I've got is going to be the price pricing and kind of the batteries as well. That's kind of also part of the pricing there too. So if you buy the XGT mower, you're gonna get two four amp hour, 40 volt batteries. But if you buy the LXT 36 volt mower, you're gonna get four LXT 18 volt batteries. And those are four amp hour as well. So the interesting thing is, on the LXT 4 amp hour batteries, it's gonna be a 72 watt hour battery. It's basically your measurement of you know how much power it has in total. So of course the 40 volt 4 amp hour battery is gonna be exactly double that. And it's gonna be 144 watt hours. So by knowing that, if we take the four by four by four amp hour batteries that come with the LXT, that's exactly the same amount of power as you get with the XGT mower. Of course, there's gonna be a few differences, you know, mo the uh, motor that's gonna be in there, the weight of the tool, type of grass you're cutting, but they should have within the same ballpark of, you know, the amount of cut distance they have or amount of area they can cut. So they're not necessarily gonna be, you know, a huge, huge difference. It's not like you're getting, you know, two eights, unless you want to bump to the next, you know, most expensive XGT mower there. But if you look at the pricing of the two mowers, so the XGT, the cheapest mower in a kit is going to run you right around 700 bucks or so. And your cheapest LXT mower in a kit is the one I've got right here. It's still about 400 bucks. That's going to run you, you know, $400, which is basically half. So I could pretty much buy two more of these mowers with eight more batteries than I could buy one XGT mower. And that's kind of my problem. I'm not really actually sure what to do on this one um, because my biggest problem is I've got way more LXT batteries than I've got XGT batteries. So, but I've already got plenty, plenty of LXT batteries. So I did some calculations. I've got about 50, 60 um, amp hours of XGT batteries total. That's counting like my 2.5s, the fours, and of course the five amp hour batteries I've got right now, but I've got nearly 400 amp hours of LXT batteries. So that's to say, if you know, I had to go to a job and I'm gonna be there for a couple hours, I'm gonna run out of XGT batteries far before I run out of my LXT batteries just because I've got more of them and they're gonna be also a great number of amp hour of batteries I've got. So to invest equivalently to LXT, or sorry, XGT, equivalent to do I have LXT batteries, it's going to be pretty expensive for me to pick up additional batteries to get the same amount of runtime I've got for LXT. And of course, you know, I'm a big fan of XGT. I've got a number of tools now from XGT, but that's kind of my problem right now is to give me, say, an hour of runtime through really heavy duty grass, you know, that's just going to be way overgrown. I'm going to need to spend, I estimate, another $3,000 between buying the mower and buying additional batteries when I've already got the batteries for LXT and for me to just buy another mower it would only be 400 bucks. So that's kind of an interesting thing to think about really when it comes to, you know, moving into a new line, I think it's the way to go, but is it always gonna be practical from a financial sense? 
that's kind of what the issue I'm kind of thinking about right now, what I should do. I don't think it's necessarily worth spending, you know, thousands of dollars to jump into LXT, just push these mowers through, you know, some really crazy stuff. Um, this thing has been doing this for me for about two years. The only issue I've had so far on this mower is that electronic brake, when you release the handlebars, it kind of just squeaks a little bit and stops. It still all works, there's no problem with that. It just makes a bit of a squeaking sound. And that's really the only issue I've got with this thing so far. So I think the weirdest thing to upgrade from LXT to XGT, when it just comes to, you know, a financial sense or a pricing is going to be maybe the mowers if you got a larger yard. If you can do your entire yard with just the four amp hour batteries and maybe you've got some other batteries from XGT as well, you're probably good to go. But the thing is though, is you can do the exact same job, yeah, maybe a little bit less power with the LXT mowers that are already out for half the price. So that's kind of where I'm at right now, guys. I'm not really sure should I jump into XGT and you know spend a ton of money um, buying more and more batteries because I need them really quickly for that mower or just buy another LXT mower for 400 bucks and call it there. So guys, I'd like to hear what you guys think. Leave it in the comments below and uh, take care guys. Hope this helps. Um, when you find out, try to figure out, you know, battery powered mowers, yeah, they get expensive. So guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.